Good evening and welcome to the Indiana University Cinema's virtual screening room. I'm Brittany Friesner, the Cinema's interim director. Please note that tonight's event will feature live captioning and to turn on captions, you'll want to move your mouse to the toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click on live transcript, then click show subtitle. If you have any issues accessing this feature, please feel free to ask a question using the Q&A box, which is also found at the bottom of your Zoom screen. To begin tonight's program, IU Cinema wishes to honor and acknowledge the indigenous communities native to this region and recognize that Indiana University Cinema is built upon indigenous homelands and resources. We recognize the Miami, the Delaware, the Potawatomi, and the Shawnee people as past, present, and future caretakers of this land. We are grateful to work on this land and encourage each of you to reflect on the land from which you are watching tonight. Thank you for joining us this evening for our virtual screening of the Everyday Abstraction, a film blackness collection shorts film program. Tonight's program is presented in partnership with IU Cinema and the Media School at Indiana University and was curated by author and City College of New York Associate Professor Michael Boyce Gillespie, who will give the 2021 James O. Nairmore Lecture. Michael's lecture, Trapped in a Legend, Film, Media, and the Art of Blackness, will take place as a virtual event tomorrow, Wednesday, April 7th at 4 p.m. We are including a link in the chat now for information on how to register for tomorrow's program presented by the Media School. Michael curated tonight's program as a companion piece to his Nairmore lecture tomorrow. And to introduce Professor Gillespie this evening is Ruth Rifton. Ruth is a doctoral candidate at the Indiana University Media School. She specializes in the intersection between contemporary French films, cyberpunk, horror, national and transnational cinema, critical race theory, and questions of identity, memory, and trauma. Please join me in welcoming Ruth Rifton. Thank you, Brittany, for this lovely introduction, and thank you, everyone, for coming. Hello. So I'm here to present Michael Boris Gillespie. Michael is the author of Film Blackness, American Cinema and the Idea of Black Film that came out of Duke University Press in 2016. He is the co-editor along with Lisa Odin of Black One Shot, an art criticism series that appears in ASAPJ. He is also the editor of Crisis Harmonies, a music criticism series also in ASAPJ. His research and writing focuses on Black visual and expressive culture, film theory, visual historiographies, popular music, and contemporary art. His recent work has appeared in Black Light, a retrospective of international Black cinema, Flash Art, Unwatchable, Ends of Cinema, ASAPJ as mentioned, and Film Quarterly. He is an Associate Professor of Film at the City College of New York and the, at the Graduate Center of City University uh, uh, of New York. Uh, so please welcome Michael B. Gillespie. Thank you. Hello. Um... Thank you so much for that lovely introduction, Ruth, and, and thank you, Brittany. Um, also, big thanks to uh, Seth and David for all their um, work behind the curtain, Zoom or otherwise. Um, thanks to IU Cinema for hosting tonight's program and to uh, as well to the Media School and the Cultural Studies Program at IU for co their co-sponsorship. So, when I was invited to deliver the James O'Neillmore lecture, um, I, I I said yes clearly, uh, and I and I also asked whether it would be possible to have a screening program um, as a kind of prelude, uh, something to set the mood, uh, as a way of kind of giving a sense of a, a of, of of film blackness and the art of blackness uh, more broadly. So some of the work I do is on the idea of black film, um, not as a definitive category, um, not as a genre, and not exclusively as the reflection of a social fact or truth. Honestly, um, none of these approaches or investments uh, in the idea of black film really uh, can account for what interests me about black film. Furthermore, I don't like patronizing Black folks with grand ideas about how film can truly embody the Black experience. I'm not a sociologist, and I don't believe sociology really does Black film or any art any justice. I'm devoted to film Blackness, 
an expression that I came up with to explain my ambivalences, my desires, and my investments in the idea of Black film. The first step for me in terms of thinking about this work was to understand that Black film must always be an irreconcilable meeting of, the, of, of art and culture, the entangled notions of film as art and the idea of race. In my book, Black, uh, in my book, Film Blackness, American Cinema and the Idea of Black Film, at one point I put together, I offer the, a series of rhetorical questions that I offer here tonight. What if Black film could be something other than embodied? What if Black film was immaterial and bodiless? What if Black film could be speculative or just ambivalent? What if Black film is ultimately the worst window imaginable and an even poorer mirror? What if Black film is art or creative interpretation and not merely the reflection of, the, of lived experience? The program tonight features Kevin Jerome Everson's The INS of Lives, Stephanie Santone's Fucked Like a Star, Colleen Smith's Crow Requiem, and Keisha Ray Witherspoon's Tea. Gathering these films together is a kind of celebration of Black film and also a demand to be attentive to the resonances of spaces, geographies, cultures, and histories. Everson's film gives us a gliding and rolling observation along 16th Street in Washington, DC, atop a sprawling message pointed towards the White House that, and as well offers us an encounter with the arc of justice and the bounce rock and skate of a rollerblader. Santonge visited, Santonge who visited Indiana University in 2015 for a new Negress Film Society program enacts an adaptation of one page of Toni Morrison's Tar Baby, but furthermore gives us a deeply textured mapping of Black women's cultural work from Haiti to New Orleans, above and below. Colleen Smith gives us a dead reckon reckoning with the adjacency of histories in upstate New York related to the origins of the stereoscope and the electric chair. More, furthermore, there are, she offers us traces of the Underground Railroad and the deeply, dis, deeply disturbing disposability of crows. Finally, there's T. With its ethnographic conceit and speculative play, Keisha Ray Witherspoon's film stirs with the persistence of loss, a relentless registering of absence, yet also a redirection of this morn of mourning as offering the possibility of, of a joyful spectacle. Everyday abstraction is the name of this program because of the way each film renders the familiar generatively unfamiliar, yet never so strange as to lose sight of the rich craft of Black visual and expressive culture. But more importantly, together this work might remind us not of the narrowness of, of answers, but of the exquisite expansiveness of questions. So thank you again for coming out tonight and I hope you enjoy the program. Thank you, Michael and Ruth and everyone at the media school who helped make tonight's event possible. At the end of this introduction, you'll see information about how to not watch tonight's film program. We are also including this information in the chat. Please note the film will not screen through this Zoom webinar. You will need to open a web browser to watch the program using the URL and the password provided. The best way to enjoy the program as Professor Gillespie intended is to click the blue start watching button that you see on the Vimeo page once you have accessed the program using the password provided. I'd like to thank the entire IU Cinema team, especially Seth and David, who have worked behind the scenes to make tonight's event possible. We encourage you to visit our website at cinema.indiana.edu for more info on all of our upcoming virtual events and curated streaming offerings. To all of you who tuned in tonight, thank you once again for being with us. Please take care of yourselves and be kind and generous to others. And we very much hope you enjoy the film program. Good night.